Some lumps that can appear on your cat's neck are benign, but others need veterinary intervention. Let's look at the top causes of lumps on the neck. Number one, benign lumps. When bacteria gets under the skin, it can cause a localized infection. Often the body will wall off the area, creating an abscess. Abscesses can commonly appear on the head or top of the neck after cats get in a fight. Below is a picture of a large abscess on a cat's neck. Abscess on the cat's neck. The lump is probably an abscess if you notice the following signs. Feels soft and malleable. Swelling under the skin. Painful when touched. Reddish color. Loss of appetite. Feline bodies are adept at isolating infections and forming abscesses, so these types of lumps are common. When your cat develops an abscess, you should contact your veterinarian. These infections will not heal on their own, and if they rupture internally, the bacteria can spread. Depending on the size of the lump and the severity of the swelling, treatment may include warm compresses, antibiotics, anti-inflammatory medications, Number two, fungal infection. Usually, fungal infections in cats affect the lungs or nervous system, but sometimes the microbes cause a skin infection. Below is a picture showing fungal dermatitis on cat's face and neck. Rainworm is the most common cause of fungal skin infections, but the condition can also arise from cryptococcosis, malassezia yeast, and others. Signs of a fungal skin infection include hair loss, Scaling slash crusting, redness, nodules under the skin, abscesses with or without draining tracts. Many of the fungi that cause skin infections can also invade the body and affect the lungs or other parts of the body. So you should contact your veterinarian if you suspect a fungal infection. Number three, insect or skin parasite bite. Cat with an abscess on the neck as a result of a tick allergy abscess on the neck due to a tick allergy. If your cat has a localized reaction to bites from fleas, mites, mosquitoes, or others, he may have a skin reaction. Signs of insect or parasite bite reactions include raised, red lumps, itching, presence of fleas, mites, or ticks, excessive grooming. If ticks get on your cat, you may also mistake an embedded tick for a lump on the neck, a dangerous carrier of infections. While the bite reactions usually resolve on their own, you should take measures to prevent them. Most of these pests can carry other diseases that are harmful to cats. Number 4. Allergic Reaction slash Anaphylaxis Some cats have strong allergic reactions to environmental irritants or bug bites. Below is a picture showing an allergic reaction with skin, rash, and hives on a sphinx cat. In severe cases, they can go into anaphylaxis, which is a medical emergency. If your cat has an allergic reaction, you may notice itchiness, raised, flat bumps hives, reddened skin, skin sores, scabbing and hair loss, excessive grooming, wheezing slash difficulty breathing anaphylaxis, facial swelling, vomiting and slash or diarrhea anaphylaxis, pale gums anaphylaxis, rapid heart rate anaphylaxis, collapse anaphylaxis. When cats have strong allergic reactions, such as hives, you should take them to your veterinarian. The doctor can prescribe a cat-safe antihistamine to curb the reaction and test your kitty to try to determine the causative allergens. At the first sign of anaphylactic shock, take your kitty to the emergency clinic. This is a life-threatening condition. Number 5. Cyst. Cysts in cats are small lumps that contain fluid or another material. They're usually benign and non-painful, but they can get infected. Depending on the contents of the lump, it may be round or oval in shape and feel soft or firm. Cyst on a cat's chin. To learn more about various cat cysts, read seven types of cat cysts. As long as the cyst doesn't bother your cat or become infected, you can usually leave it alone. If it becomes problematic, the best course of treatment is surgical removal. Number 6. Lipoma. Lipomas are benign fatty tumors that can appear on your cat's neck and other parts of the body. They can feel spongy, soft, or firm, and are fairly free-moving under the skin. Because the lumps tend to grow rapidly in cats and may affect other tissues, they're usually surgically removed. 
Number 7. Injection Site Reaction Some cats react to vaccinations, particularly if the shot is given above the shoulder blades. When this happens, a small skin nodule forms. It should resolve on its own in 3 to 4 weeks. If the inflammation persists, talk to your veterinarian. In some cases, chronic inflammation can be a precursor to fibrosarcoma. Number 8. Malignant Lumps Basal Cell Tumors Most commonly found in older cats, basal cell tumors are one of the most common feline skin tumors. They usually appear as single lumps on the head or neck. These lumps range in size from a few centimeters to a few inches. They are firm, hairless, and can be pigmented. View this picture from Vatirianki. Basal cell tumors don't tend to metastasize to other organs, but they can grow, ulcerate, and become infected. The treatment of choice is surgical removal. Cats have a good prognosis with treatment. Mast cell tumors. Mast cells are part of the family of white blood cells that are involved in allergic responses. When the cells grow abnormally, they can form masses or nodules in the skin and other organs. While mast cell tumors can occur anywhere on your cat's body, they usually grow around the neck and head. Signs of a mast cell skin tumor include plaques or firm nodules, itching, loss of hair, can be ulcerated. View this picture of a mast cell tumor on Vatirianki. These tumors can spread to other body systems, including the spleen and intestines, but it's unlikely. The treatment for mast cell tumors of the skin is complete surgical removal. Most cats recover with a good prognosis for a normal life. Irregular shape. A fleshy or firm lump feels fixed to tissues under the skin, usually not painful, possible ulceration or infection. Treatment for fibrosarcoma is surgical removal followed by chemotherapy or targeted radiation. The prognosis depends on the tumor's aggressiveness and growth rate, but it's usually guarded. Fibrosarcomas often recur. How to identify different types of lumps? Lumps can't be diagnosed based on visual inspection alone because many growths resemble one another. However, your veterinarian may be able to narrow the list of possible types of lumps your cat has based on certain characteristics size and shape, on or under the skin, growth rate, flat to the skin surface or raised, level of itchiness or painfulness, pigmentation, consistency, soft, spongy, firm. Once he evaluates the tumor's characteristics, the doctor will need to run some diagnostic tests to confirm the diagnosis. Common tests include impression smears, fine needle aspiration, or biopsies. The type of tumor and its location will dictate which test your vet uses. Should I visit the veterinarian or wait and see? In most cases, you should expect to schedule an appointment rather than wait and see because early diagnosis and treatment often help improve the prognosis. You should visit the vet if the lump continues to grow. The lump doesn't go away in a few days. The lump changes color. Your cat is scratching or rubbing at the area. Your cat shows signs of pain like crying. Your cat won't eat. Your cat is depressed or lethargic. Signs that you can wait and see. Signs that you may be able to wait and see are largely based on the history and circumstances surrounding the lump. You saw a mosquito or other insect bite your cat before the lump appeared. Your cat recently had vaccinations and the lump is around the shoulders. The lump is squishy and moves freely under the skin. Your cat is acting normally. Your cat is not itchy or painful. Most lumps should disappear in a week or less. If not, contact your veterinarian. What to do? Steps for dealing with lumps on your cat's neck. Number one, routinely check your cat for lumps. Lumps on your cat's neck can easily go unnoticed if you're not regularly checking for them. As your cat ages, it's wise to check your cat's body every month or so for lumps. Try giving a gentle massage and feeling under the fur to the skin. Number two, take note of any abnormalities. If you feel or observe anything new on your cat's neck, Check it closely and note the size, color, and consistency. Take a picture of the lump if possible. Number three, notify your veterinarian. Contact your veterinarian and report your findings. If you take a picture, 
ask to text or email it to him. The doctor may advise you to monitor the lump or bring your cat in for an examination depending on the signs and any history of injuries or recent vaccinations.